Okay, now we're going to create an account for you to have a demo. No, this is for the guys who want to try Forex. So this is the steps on creating a demo account to a certain broker. Again, marami pong mga broker jan, but I'm to tell you bakit ito na broker ang I ni recommend you ko at bakit ito ang setup natin. Uh, this will be on another set of video. But currently, ang ituturo ko lang po is to for you to have an account and for you to have a demo account so that you could try and you could learn to trade in Forex. So, first of all, ang gagawin nyo lang po is ipunta po kayo sa mga YouTube videos ko. And uh, if you could see, to try Forex, create an account, click lang po nyo yan. No? Like for this one, click po natin yan. No? Then there, from there, pupunta po kayo doon sa website ng broker which is, sa nakikita nyo, ito po yung broker ko po which is from Australia, regulated by the Australian government. And what you're going to do is just click the demo account or sign up. No, let's click po demo account. No, pag clinic na po natin demo account, fill up nyo lang po. Uh, example lang po, this is your name. Yan. Tapos, uh, lagay po natin yung Email nyo. Ayan. Uh, okay. Tapos yung mobile number nyo. O, lagay nyo po yan. Uh, make sure lang po ah, na ang ilalagay nyo po dito uh, is, is if you're really serious in making this broker uh, be a uh, serious in trading a broker, make it sure po na ano po yung, yung mga documents nyo for proof of residency and a proof for uh, proof of your uh, kung saan po kayo na, na nakatira, no? Uh, they will really verify your account so make it sure tama po yung pangalan na nilagay nyo. So, we let's click open demo account. Yan. Let's wait. Okay, there. So, now we will go to your email. No, kasi isi-send po sa email. As for me, naka, nakakuha na po ito. So, here, it says here na ang sabi po is confirm sa email. May isi-send yung verification link. So, punto pa kayo sa email nyo na ginamit nyo sa pag-sign in. Click nyo lang po yan. Nakikita po natin. Now, all you have to do is to confirm. No? So, let's click and start the application para i-confirm po. Once na-click po natin yan, na-confirm po natin, we just have to follow the instructions. So, let's wait for at ina-access na po ang Pepperstone. And here you go. So, sa nakikita nyo po, this is the, uh, the setup. No, this is one of the more important thing na dapat natin malaman. So for the setup po, I really recommend po the C Trader. No, there is a reason for C Trader. Pwede din po ka tayo mag Meta Trader, but as of now, uh, we will use the C Trader. May reason po tayo, may reason po ako kung bakit C Trader. And yung currency po natin para hindi tayo mahirapan, we will use the USD. Then yung leverage, no? Uh, may I suggest po, we could use 1 is to 400, pwede po yun, but may I suggest po 1 to 100, no? Uh, again, I will create a video tutorial, bakit si trader, bakit 1 is to 100 leverage natin. And bakit razor type, no? Ang account. No? Demo deposit po, as you can see po, uh, nakikita natin dito na ang minimum po dito ng Pepperstone is 200. Not like others, merong minimum na 500. Although, meron din ibang forex broker na may minimum na 50. But then again, hindi po yun si trader, but iba po. No? So, in which hindi ko rin po natry yung iba. So, again, ang i-recommend ko po sa inyo is yung natry ko na po. So, ito po yung setup natin. Don't forget, si trader po ang ating platform. Currency is US dollar. Leverage is 1 is to 100. Napaka-importante po yan. And the type 
account type is Razor and demo is the demo deposited amount is 200 so let's click create an account okay from there eto na po no uh, uh, nandito na po yung yung kwa natin yung anong tawag nito eto na po yung demo trading account number natin at yung password natin kumbaga what you could see here, this is the dashboard of the Pepperstone. So, wag po kayong malito. May dashboard po ang Pepperstone at meron po platform. For the platforms, I recommend po you download it, the CTrader, sa mga gumagamit ng Windows. No? I-download po niyo ninyo yung platform. So, sa CTrader, ito po, download po yung gumagamit ng Windows. Pero yung kagaya ko, Gumagamit ng Mac, pwede lang po natin i-launch from browser. So, from here, pwede i-click ko lang po yung Launch CTrader Web. Ayan, tinik ko na yung Launch CTrader Web. Dahil lang natin, i-access na niya yung platform. Ito naman yung platform na sinasabi. Sa platform, di ba, pinapili tayo MetaTrader ba or CTrader? Ang pinili po natin is CTrader platform. Yan. Hintay lang po natin. Ito yung load na po. Oh. Sign in po tayo. Remember, no, binigay sa inyo yung credentials nyo. No, wag po natin kalimutan yon yung sinasabi na account. Diba? O, oh, binigay po sa atin yung account, ng credentials natin. O, oh, uh, makikita lang din po yun sa ating email address. So, hanapin natin yung email address natin. Saan na ba yun? Uh -huh. Okay. So, for the login details, no? username, yung sa client area nyo, then yung sa CTrader area po, so, person, yan, demo trading account, kikita nyo po. So, ito po, yung demo trading account natin, Nandito po yung natawag natin na demo trading account number. Ito po tayo dyan. Tapos yung password po na pinadala sa inyo. So this is for the demo kaya pinapakita ko lang sa inyo. No? Demo lang po kasi ito. So ganun lang po kasimple ang gumawa po ng demo account para po ninyo masubukan ang paano mag-trade at uh, paano ba ginagawa. Yan. So, once na ilagay nyo na yan, then, there you go. You are ready na to take a trade. 